This is for those of you who have felt like you have lost abilities that you used to have as kids. Now that comment was referring to channeling, but really I want to touch on anything having to do with your imagination. And this can be so frustrating for so many people because when you start to open up to the spiritual realm of things, you're going within, right? So you're dabbling with inner senses, meditation, mindfulness, visualization, and a lot of healing that takes place and a lot of abilities that develop happen in the imagination space that a lot of us were taught was childish or useless. So the time comes when you have to put that imagination to the side, unless you're using it for real world applications, we'll say. And when you do that, Basically, it's like a muscle. This isn't like a bicycle you pick up again. It's more like a muscle that you let weaken over time, but you can strengthen as well. So that can be frustrating. It can be frustrating when you know you used to have these abilities, like you used to see in Technicolor kind of thing, and now when you go into your imagination space, it's it can be duller, it could be choppy, like not a seamless scene plays out, but... The big block is when you allow yourself to believe that the weakening of these visualization muscles, we'll say, is permanent. So if you're resonating with this and you do deal with this frustration, first and foremost, what you want to do is look at your belief system. And you want to start by asking yourself, do I believe that I am disconnected? Do I believe that I am disconnected from my imagination? Do I believe that my abilities left me long ago? Do I believe that I can never get them back? If you believe those things, then you're going to continue to see those things. But what I would suggest is that you have a little bit of hope and you go in and you just allow yourself to believe again in the abilities and the gifts and the imagination and the vividness and the clarity and everything how it used to be when you were a kid. I would allow yourself to believe that you still have that it, but it just may take some time to exercise the muscle back into shape. And here's the thing, the reason why that muscle may never be 100% back to what it was when you were a kid is also because as a kid, that version of you as a child had a lot more like clean slateness to the world. So it wasn't, that version of you was not as jaded or even I want to say as knowledgeable as you are now where that kind of knowledge you get from living experience and learning academically or otherwise and you know in the real world but all that learning and knowledge does do something to you where it plants enough beliefs over time where realistically you're not going to get rid of all of them but you can at the very least become aware of what beliefs you do have so that you can, in a sense, override them to get you close enough to that vivid inner world that you have as a child naturally. So my focus has been on the imagination and kind of revamping the imagination because the imagination space is the link where you can channel. Back to the comment I was talking about channeling. Where you can dabble with intuitive gifts and where like if you like to read cards or just intuitive reading or whatever it gets it gets more clear because you begin to strengthen those muscles and trust yourself more now, there's a lot more to this but the last thing i want to mention is not to judge when you feel like your inner senses or your inner visualization your imagination not to judge yourself for what you get now versus what either you want or what you remember it used to be like so try not to compare to compare it to how it was, but also don't judge don't judge what it is right now as though it's not useful because you need to use what you get now, how it comes to you. You need to use that now so you can build on it and practice with it. Cuz it may come in grayscale and you eventually allow, you'll see it flourish into colors. It may come in like little glimpses or, or holographic or in a sketch form. Like don't judge it and don't dismiss what comes in, how it comes in. You have to let it and you have to trust it and work with it and befriend it in order to build with it and build it up into, it's kind of like building a, a 2D into a 3D object. So hopefully that's helpful. It's a big concept. So I'm here if you have any more questions. Bye.